Hey booktube, it's Thea and I'm here with my July TBR. So for July, um, I am keeping it pretty doable um, because at the end of the month is the reading rush and so I'm going to have a separate TBR for that. Um, so I will really quickly show you guys what my plans are for July. So the most important read that I have for July, one of the that I have to read, is Road 7 by Keith Rosen. I actually requested this um, through Meerkat Press in exchange for an honest review. So I have to get this read this month. It actually is set to come out July 14th. So this is going to be like the main focus uh, for the first few days or so um, in July. I'm not too, too sure what it's about. I just remember kind of reading a little bit of a blurb on it and it seemed really intriguing. So I figured I would request it and uh, they sent it to me. Uh, basically, it follows Mark. He's a cryptozoologist, he's arrogant, he's covered in scarring, and he's kind of famous after Hollywood made an Oscar winner based off his memoirs seven years earlier. He's been strongly advised by his lawyer to leave the country after their somewhat involvement in a drunken and potentially fatal accident. And when a woman sends him grainy footage of what appears to be actual unicorn sighting, he quickly hires an assistant and the two head off to the woman's farm, a tiny remote island off the coast of Iceland. When they arrive and discover that both a military base and the woods are teeming with strangeness and secrets, they begin to realize that a unicorn sighting is the least of their worries. Um, so I'm kind of intrigued and the cover's intriguing. Um, so I figured it's worth a read. So keep an eye on my channel in the next couple weeks or so for a full review of this. Um, and then the second book that I like have to read in July is Do You Dream of Terra 2 by Timmy O. Oh, this is my August book club book. Um, this is quite a chunker. It's much bigger than I thought it was. So I was like, shoot, I have to get this on. I have to get on this a lot sooner than anticipated. But this is a YA sci-fi. Um, don't know too much about it. It was just one of the books that we voted on. Um, uh, a century ago, there was a discovery of an Earth-like planet orbiting a nearby star, predicted that one day humans would travel there to build a utopia. Ten, today, 10 astronauts are leaving everything behind to find it. Four are veterans of the 20th century space race and six are teenagers who've trained for this mission most of their lives. It will take the team 23 years to reach Terra 2, 23 years locked in close quarters, 23 years with no one to rely on but one another, 23 years with no rescue possible should something go wrong and something always goes wrong so i'm very excited to get to this um i don't know much more about it than that it is fairly decently new it came out last year um i haven't heard much about it on booktube i've heard pretty mixed reviews but i am excited to give it a read um it is quite a chunker it's like 530 pages so i haven't read a really long book in quite a while so i'm excited to dive into this um, in the next few days as well. And the rest of my plans for July, other than the reading rush, is a whole series of graphic novels. Um, I am going to out myself right now and show everybody that I've never actually read this series yet. Um, my friend had the entire series and he was really wanting to talk to someone about it. And I, he says, who is interested in borrowing it? And I was like, ooh, ooh, because <laughs> I've never read it yet. And um, I am very excited because I've been wanting to read this for such a long time. It was very popular on booktube a few years ago. Um, um, and I think that people are still kind of talking about it here and there every now and again. Um, and that is the entire saga series. Um, so I have all nine volumes here to read this month. Um, this is going to be kind of my other priority other than the reading rush is just reading through um, all of these. Um, I am so, so, so excited to get to these finally. Um, I feel like I've been beating myself up because I've never read these and every time I see them in the store, I'm like, yes, I should pick up the first volume. I should read it. I should buy it. And then I don't. <laughs> and um, now I don't have to. But I am very excited to get to these. And in fact, I actually already have read volume one at the time of filming. Um, I really enjoyed it. I won't talk too much about it because I'm gonna save it for my wrap up and I kinda wanna do um, a whole wrap up of the series once I finish it. But I am so, so, so excited to get to these this month. 
So here is my July TBR. I will have a separate uh, TBR for the reading rush in the next couple of weeks, so keep an eye on that as well. Um, I'm very excited with my TBR for July. I feel like it's very doable. I can get through it. Um, what are you guys reading in July? If you've read any of these, any thoughts, comments, and opinions about them? Um, as always, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe to get notified of when I post new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy reading. I hope you're well. Stay safe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.